anything from Trez? No. All right. Okay, so we're sitting here. It's Saturday. Crystal has the day off. Woo! And I leave for <clears throat> tour in like two weeks. Woo! There we go. <laughs> and we figured let's do a Q&A. So we're going to open up Twitter. It's already open. From Chris, do you love me? I love you whenever we're playing League of Legends. I know there's clean vocals spread throughout Death Grip, but is there a reason there isn't a whole song dedicated to just clean vocals like you guys did with Skin and Bones and Selfish Eyes? Um, we do slow songs while singing kind of when they just come to us. Every time we try to write one, it turns out really badly. Like, Skin and Bones was meant to be an instrumental, and it just turned into a song that had vocals, and Selfish Eyes was a song Tuck had written like three years before he joined the band. So, they were things we kind of stumbled upon. Would either of you call the other to help bury a body, no questions asked, at an untimely hour? So, I would, sure, I'd call Ryan if I was burying a body and I needed help. I probably wouldn't be happy with you. Would you help me? No. I would help you. <laughs> you would not I would help, help you. I would help Alex and Naomi. I was like, yeah. Just I would kidding. say, listen, we'll get this done. We'll talk at home. We'll make sure we're not bugged. Make sure there's no mics recording us. Hide in a room with no outside hearing, and we talk about it. You thought too much about this. But you're my husband. But you helping? And I would, I would help you. I would say, do your thing. I don't know any of this happened, and come home. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Anyways. Now we know. Now you know you can't call me when you murder someone. Can Fit come back to Fort Lauderdale on the headline tour? We will see. We haven't played Fort Lauderdale too much. FLL. FLL. How do you feel about fangirls hitting on married men? Hey, there like was one time where I was holding Ryan's hand, and this girl came up and gave Ryan a coupon to come see her dance at her job. So that was very disrespectful. I don't appreciate that. but It was classy. It was, yeah, that's a good word to use. But, um, I mean, I was a fangirl, and I think that if the man is married, then... Respect the what, Yeah, respect it. If, if they're single, if they're single who added. cares? <laughs> Go flirt with the guy that you think is attractive, but or if, if they're married, I think there's a line. Or Go for it. What? <laughs> don't do that. Or, I said her boyfriend. Yeah. If his girlfriend sucks, don't, don't, go for it. Don't disrespect. Don't, <laughs> don't disrespect a relationship. What are your favorite qualities about each other, and what does the other person do that gets on your nerves? Uh, my me. favorite quality about you is your determination, and you're good at everything you put your mind to. What about me? I love that you're passionate about what you do, and you do have a very strong will. And then what do you do that gets on the other's nerves? Well, Okay, I have a problem with hearing people chew, and I also have a problem with hearing Ryan's keyboard clicks. It you drives me now. crazy. I think you complain too much. I complain. Which you're complaining about me clicking. I complain. Where did the choice of American metalcore come from? Um, we kind of just thought we're from America, we're metalcore, this will look cool on a hoodie. Do you um, enjoy listening to metal? I love listening to metal. Metal's my favorite kind of music. Favorite place to eat together. For her, it's probably Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. I'm, I'm super picky. Um, or Texas Day Brazil when we're feeling Texas Day fancy. Brazil is really good. Um, yeah, Texas Roadhouse, Texas Day Brazil. Basically, steakhouses. Yeah. We have a different taste in food, so he'll eat Whataburger. Or she loves cheese. I hate Whataburger. No offense to anybody. You just offended almost everyone. Like everyone Whataburger. in Texas. No, I just, just I don't like Whataburger, so I don't eat when we go there. He can go there, and then I just go eat something else. I'd rather eat, like, Chipotle or something. Hey, what are your favorite songs you have written, and can we expect anything different from the new album? Uh, I really like Dead Memory, and I really like Hollow King. And the new album is just going to be heavier and a little riffier, a little more technical. And I'll tell you my favorite Pitfair King songs are from Creation Destruction. Creation Destruction. There's I just, a I pointed it off. at the wall.
some advice about being on the road yet still having a strong relationship? So something that I made sure to do, I wrote him like little letters or things for him to open up on tour. And um, every day we would at least say a good morning and good night and have one phone call. So I think that was what I look forward to the most. Um, if I don't talk to him all day, I at least know <coughs> that he's going to call me as soon as they're done playing. Trust them. So if you haven't yeah, talked, you kind of have to trust a if, lot. If you haven't talked to them all day, don't assume the worst because they're probably just sleeping in the van or, or just tired. Or phone's of, dead and on yeah, the wall. Yeah, phone's because... dead. Sure, I get sad when he leaves. I'm super excited when he comes home, but it doesn't break me down. I'm used to him being gone, so. Yeah, if you're the kind of couple that's like, I have to be around them or yeah. I'm miserable, then you're probably not going to be able to have that kind of relationship. What are some of your favorite bands right now? Um, I listen to the same bands I listened to 10 years ago, the same album, so. I have to say August Burns Red, Under Oath. Solid State. <laughs> Basically all the Solid State bands from 10 years ago. I listen to Def Havana. I'm trying to think of bands where I listen to the whole album. Quiet Drive. Quiet Drive, all day. All day. All day. And I like Wage Wars albums really good. What is your favorite part of being in Fit for a King? Um, all the millions of dollars. All the money. No, it's getting to play <laughs> on a stage every night. and yeah, Just writing great. really heavy breakdowns and telling people about Jesus while playing really heavy breakdowns. Do I still game or stream? As well, from a teenager standpoint, did you grow up believing you'd be in the position you're in now? Um... Uh, the internet here at our new apartment it's awful. is not very it's good. So, so streaming is very spotty. And I don't mind streaming some things. I really enjoy streaming horror games because it's a way for me to not get as terrified while playing it. But, uh, he still gets terrified. And uh, no, I didn't believe as a teenager. I didn't even once think about touring. As well, thank you guys for all of your questions. Bye. Bye.